This is the Samsung Galaxy F54 5G disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. So you won't need to take the phone apart to replace those. There are 15 Phillips screws which need to be removed. The small plastic cover which is covering the connector for the fingerprint sensor needs to be removed. Now the cable can be disconnected. At this point, a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing is also made of plastic. There are numerous antenna flex cables around the back housing including the NFC antenna. Looking at the other side, there are some more antenna flex cables, as well as graphite film top transfer heat. The fingerprint sensor is held in place with a metal bracket. If you need to replace that, you just lift up and pull out the metal bracket, which would then release the fingerprint sensor. And the bottom speaker assembly is located here. The battery cable cannot be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. This flex cable connects the main board to the subboard. There are also two coaxial cables which need to be disconnected from the motherboard and the subboard by just popping them off. The flex cable for the screen is located on the bottom corner, so if you needed to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing, which would then give you access to the screen cable, and then you disconnect that, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, Pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. Here's a better look at the 32 megapixel front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board. Taking a look at the main board, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 108 megapixel primary, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by popping them off. The LED flash is located here, and there are rubber gaskets around these connectors. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the other side, as well as the proximity sensor and the secondary microphone. There's also a graphite pad on the back shields to help transfer heat. Once the graphite pad has been peeled back, we can see thermal pads which sit on top of the processor and these chips. To remove the battery, there's an adhesive pouch provided to help you pry the battery off.
Here's a better look at the 6000 mAh battery. Once the adhesive patch has been peeled back, we can see the copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. There's a single Phillips screw holding down the subboard. Looking at the subboard, there's a rubber gasket around the screen connector and the charger port's located over here. The primary microphone is located on the other side. The x-axis linear haptic motor or the vibrator motor is located over here on the bottom corner and it's held down with some adhesive. The flex cable for the volume keys is located on this side which is also held down with some adhesive and the same goes for the earpiece speaker which is located on top. For the repairability score on this phone I give it a 9 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once everything's back in place, apply a new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.